my response might sound a little um, tough, but I, I, I just, I'd kill him, I'd bury him. But, um, you know, it's, it's, you know, tolerance for that and the, the kind of culture that the Laker organization stood for winning championships is not tolerated. You're going to show up to play and you're going to lollygag through this scrimmage, through this drill. I'm going to beat you. I'm going to let you know I beat you. I'm going to want you to reconsider your professional life choice. You know, and, and, and for the most part, people will say, okay, that doesn't make a great teammate. Well, I'm not here to be a great teammate. I'm here to help you win championships. So there's a difference. Um, and, you know, fortunately for us and for me, you know, we had an organization that it was championships or nothing. And they were really good about identifying that and bringing players in here that had that competitive streak and you know, getting rid of the ones that did not. If I got to fight to get you in the gym, that's a problem. That's a problem. You want players that are gym rats, players that want to be in the gym, that want to work. And then from there, you build on top of that. But if you're lazy, man, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to deal with you. You don't make me feel dumber. You know, <laughs> you know you're going to lower my level. I don't think so. You can go over there. There's plenty of teams in here where you'll fit right in. <laughs> but your first three seasons, then the one game is the last game of the season you play Utah. Yeah. The one where you shoot three air balls at the end. Five. It was like five. And then you it's hit crazy. one and his them doesn't go in, right? Mm -hmm. Moses, not Malone, one of the Malones came and spoke to you. I don't know who it was from the Jazz. Malone, he was, yeah. He was saying something. You were yeah. not even paying attention. Shaq was whispering something in your ear. What did Shaq say to you in that moment? I don't even know. You don't remember? No, I wasn't paying attention. Got you know, like, like it, it was, you know, like, for me, it, it's, maybe it's a little, like, asshole of me, or whatever, but whatever. Um, he was, like, he was trying to whisper encouraging things. I was like, I'm, I'm fine. Okay. I, I shot five air balls on national TV in front of millions of people that cost us a series, and I'm 18. I'm fine, dude. How do you get the mental, how does somebody get there mentally with that public humiliation to some people hurts them and they don't come back well you know it's you got to look at the reality of the situation you know like for me it's not you know you, you kind of got to get over yourself like, it's not about you man like oh, okay you feel embarrassed you're not that important like <laughs> get over yourself yeah, that's where you go get over yourself right like you're worried about how people may perceive you and like you're walking around and it's embarrassing because you shot five air balls get over yourself right and then after that it's okay well why did those air balls happen Got it. High school, year before, we played 35 games, max, right? Week in between, spaced out, plenty of time to rest. In the NBA, it's back to back to back to back to back to back to back. I didn't have the legs. So you look at the shot, every shot was online. Every shot was online, but every shot was short. Right? I got to get stronger. I got to train differently. The weight training program that I'm doing, I got to tailor it for an 82 game season mm. so that when the playoffs come around my legs are stronger and that ball gets there so I look at it with rationale and say okay well the reason why I shot air balls is because my legs aren't there I go well next year they'll be there <laughs>